What's poppin', people? It's Friday. How was everyone's week? Rocket League results, trunk or treat, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Clayton has just sent in some recent Rocket League results for the eSports team. They had a very decisive victory against Prairie Heights High School where they absolutely swept them in a best of five with a score of three to zero. Round one was led with a score of nine to two. Round two was three to one. And round three ended with a demanding lead of 12 to one. Excellent job, y'all. Now that's what I like to see. Dubs on dubs, baby. Trunk or treat, y'all. First of all, who doesn't love candy? If you're looking for a ton of free candy, then first of all, pop out to the NHS Trunk or Treat tomorrow evening from 5 to 8. It'll be in the parking lot behind the school. And then, after that, Monday afternoon, pop out to the Clinton House to get even more free candy. That will be held from 5 to 8 as well, and you'll get a free hayride. Spread the word, everyone. Just a quick reminder that IUK is asking that families register for the Latino IUK Family Night here at FHS. There is a QR code in the chatter to register, so go ahead and check that out. Now I'll be sending it to Rascone to report in on some hot dog sports. Good morning, dogs. Yesterday, the girls' basketball team went to Peru for a scrimmage. The dogs showed great team effort by driving the ball up the court and making gaps in Peru's defense, allowing them to take shots. Defensively, they did just as well, making steals on both sides of the court. The first regular season match is November 1st. Next Monday, the Spell Bowl team will be on the road for their last meet. Ask Mrs. Thomas if you're interested. Last but not least, our Hot Dog TV crew caught up with Chris Angelis. To watch the interview, you can go to the Chatter or any of the Hot Dog social medias. Now, to Burge with weather. Thank you, Rascone. For today's weather report, we're looking to see some partly cloudy skies with a slight chance of rain throughout the day, with there being a 15% chance. Today's high is expected to be around a nice and warm 79 degrees, so on that note, Make sure to get outside and enjoy this nice fall weather. Rolling into the evening, temperatures will fall into the mid-50s and eventually come to a plateau at 52 degrees. And on top of it getting colder as the night continues, the chance of rain will also skyrocket up to 80%. Now for your weekend forecast. Tomorrow, I hate to say it, but it looks like we're only going to see a high of 58 degrees. What a drastic change, am I right? And for the low of the evening, we're going to see a low of the 50s area. Once again, another chance of 80% rain. I hate to say it. I hope you all got some plans to wear some sleeves and maybe a rain jacket because the cold looks like it's not going to let up. And with that being said, coming into Sunday, temperatures are looking to drop even more with a staggering high of only 50 degrees and a 70% chance of rain to tag along with it. Definitely not something I'm looking forward to. And sending it into the night, temperatures will fall all the way down to 39 degrees and an even higher chance of rain hitting 90%. I don't want to keep you all waiting, so I'm going to send it back to your amazing hosts. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2 will be orange chicken, and in lines 3 and 4, assorted flatbread pizza. There are no birthdays today, but make sure you go to the place, Sandy Toes and Salty Kisses tonight. It's 5 bucks, and it starts at 7. Shout out to my boy, Douglas Harrison Wood, who is in it. That will wrap up announcements for today, dog. We here at FHS wish Chris Angelis a huge good luck at the state meet tomorrow. Go run them down, Chris. Have a great Friday and a safe, wonderful Halloween weekend. <laughs>